Botafogo beat Red Bull Bragantino today and is into the group stage of the Libertadores Cup in 2024. Welcome to Glorious Botafogo, the only place on the internet where you will find Botafogo news in English. And it seems like the nightmare is finally done, it's finally over. The one good thing that Botafogo could have had from the 2023 season has finally arrived. The Libertadores Cup is here, it is upon us. The drawing is near. I think the drawing is this coming Monday and the tournament starts April 3rd. Finally, it's, um, it's a weight off the shoulders, I'm sure, not only for us, the supporters, but the players themselves. After you know a disastrous end of 2023, and after they have said numerous and numerous times that 2023 is done, and, and it's water under the bridge, well, they made a count. Botafogo is in the Libertadores group stage, which is the competition that the club is most... Uh, interested in. Uh, it is definitely the Libertadores this year. Once again, Junior Santos with the goal in the Libertadores. That is eight for the lightning, for the thunder. That's what he likes to be called, Junior Santos. That is his nickname, although in training they call him Jacaré, which is the same as Gator. So uh, I'm not really sure why Gator, but um, he prefers Thunder. And I even have a have a meme that I, I post on on game days. I'm, I'm on a post right here. Uh, Junior Santos, uh, in an interview, he says that uh, eu tava rabiscando, né? That means rabiscando means he was um, showing a lot of flair, you know, pulling off some some fancy dribbling skills. And then I made a, uh, since he likes to be called Lightning and Thunder, I made a, a Mortal Kombat parody of the God of Thunder, Junior Santos. And every time he score a go, I post uh, Habiscality, Rabiscality as a, just a, as a little meme for Junior Santos, which I must admit he is having one hell of a start in 2024. The match itself was... Really, Bragantino trying to suffocate Botafogo, just keeping the pressure on and attacking, attacking, attacking. And then at the beginning of the second half, Damian Suarez with a with stupid, stupid, really uh, amateur-like mistake. He's a 35-year-old defender. He knew that he, if he had fouled the Bragantino player right there, that he would have been given a red card and a red card he received. He was the last defender. He fouled the player, Juninho Capixaba, and he got a red card, and he left the team fighting with one last player for almost the entire second half. And then later on, he puts in Hugo, which gave the assist to Junior, to Junior Santos. So uh, Fabio Matias is doing really, really well as the interim manager for Botafogo. And speaking of manager, we are going to wait and see if Botafogo is going to make an announcement soon. You know, we all kind of knew that it was going to, it was an announcement that was going to be made after this Libertadores um, battle, really, because uh, the focus was on this. And there is a Carioca match against Sampaio Correa coming up this weekend, uh, and it's going to guarantee a spot in the final of the Taça Rio, which is, again, the consolation prize for those that didn't make the semifinal. And um, I expect the manager to be announced next week. I don't really see any other way. There's going to be a little bit of a break, and then the Brasileirão starts. And then the Libertadores starts on the third. So I'm assuming that John Texer would, would like to have his manager for the year before the start of the Libertadores and before the start of the Brasileirão. Oscar Romero, the Paraguayan national team teammate of Gatito Fernandes, has been signed by Botafogo. The documents were uh, swapped today. He was supposed to have arrived in Rio de Janeiro uh, tonight. So I'm recording this on Wednesday night this may come out on thursday afternoon and he comes to be a immediate substitute to eduardo botafogo has been scouting the market for a player to come in uh, in that particular position and it looks like we found it oscar romero was a free agent so all the club has to worry about now is just playing paying the player his fee so 
Welcome, Oscar Romero. I hope you do great here. A uh, little fun fact is that Oscar's twin brother, uh, Angel Romero, he's playing for Corinthians right now. So we have the uh, the Romero twins playing in the Brasileirão, one for Corinthians, one for Botafogo. That is all for today. I hope you enjoy the match. It was a tense one there towards the end, but all that matters is that we got the qualification to the group stage. So now Botafogo needs to prepare and we are going to mentally prepare as well for the rest of the year. Thank you for watching so far. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video with everybody that you know that uses the social medias that I'm posting on because it really helps grow the, um, the channel, really helps grow this page um, so we can reach more Botafoguenses across the globe. See you on the next one.